Hello my sock universe. I just came home from a lengthy morning stay so I know this video will post late but uh, there was no other way that I could do it. I'm wearing Sevilla uh, because we had such a busy day I didn't even watch the games yesterday. I saw the highlights this morning and to be honest I think uh, all games are relatively quickly told. And let's start at the game that was probably less exciting from the names but probably more exciting uh, from if you want to see goals and it was of course Schachter against Basel. Um, Basel now over a year into this uh, U European season and also Basel that have been eliminated in the Champions League qualification by my team Lusk and now they overtook them in the Europa League which kind of makes this whole Champions League Europa League mishmash definitely odd. Let's put it that way. Uh, Basel did not have much chance. Uh, after 22 minutes, was a 2 0 for Schachter, Moraes, and Tyson. Many more chances. Uh, I think if it would have been three or four at the half for Schachter, no one could have complained. However, a second half, Basel can keep it a little bit more even, uh, but still, the goals are scored by Schachter, and now they get their four goals. Um, we have Alan Patrick after a pretty clear penalty in the 75th making it 3-0 and then uh, Dodo in the 88th 4-0 and von Wolfs making stoppage time only getting a consolation prize. So Schachter will face Inter in the semi-final and since uh, of all the teams in the semi-final the only jersey that I don't know don't have is Schachter I want to actually ask you I have two options that I can use as stand-in for Schachter because I actually think the way Schachter has been playing already against Wolfsburg and now against Basel. Yes, maybe not the top opposition, but they have been rather convincing and I wouldn't be surprised at all, at all, if they go all the way. So I probably will need to do something about that. I was thinking if to ask a colleague whether they have a Schachter jersey that they can borrow me, but I'm not sure if I will be able to get it on time. So the other thing is I have to use stand-ins and my two options that I came up with, I mean the third option would be a Brazil jersey with him all the Brazilians, but of course I can use a Ukraine jersey since they're from Ukraine. It's just that those are not Schachter colors. So if you want to go Schachter colors, shall I use this Dutch jersey? I mean it's orange with black, those are the club colors. What do you think? What's better to use? as a Schachter stand-in. I'm leaning Ukraine, but I mean, this would not be out of place. So for now, since I'm wearing Sevilla, I will put now this Ukraine jersey here. Because I mean, after all, they're representing the Ukraine. But if you think or find a good reason that I should use the other jersey, just let me know. Or if you want to borrow or quickly send me a Schachter jersey, I would be more than happy to have it. The other game, I can't even say less about that one, uh, because, I mean, everything from the stats was clear. It was all severe. However, uh, the first big thing is when Diego Carlos trips um, Adama Torare in the box, and it's a penalty, that Raul Jimenez rather, I don't want to say amateurish, but it, it was not a good, good penalty. It got saved by the reserve goalkeeper, by Sevilla uh, Bunu. Uh, that I didn't uh, realize that Watch League is, is no, no playing, but a pretty big save for them. And keeps it nearly from then on. It was all Sevilla. Wolves didn't have a single corner kick. However, Sevilla didn't have also any really good clear cut chances as well. Uh, it was just they were playing the ball around, putting crosses in that Wolves could get away. That's at least what I could tell from, from the Hards. And they really, really leave it late. Jacques did it early. Sevilla did late. Uh, Lucas Ocampos, who has been amazing already against Roma, after Eva Banega, who makes his, if you want, swan song for Sevilla, makes it 1 0 in the 88th, and so we are avoiding uh, another overtime. And therefore, we have now in the final, uh, no, semi final, we have Sevilla against Manchester United, a great matchup. I'm actually quite happy. I have three or four uh, semi finals, as I did last. Uh, year where I didn't have a Frankfurt jersey, still didn't, don't have a Frankfurt jersey, and they don't come cheap at the moment. That's what I don't like about it. And Inter against Schachter. Everyone would say, okay, Sevilla United is a toss up, and what Inter have been showing, maybe they are favored, but to be honest, what Schachter has been showing, I would not be surprised if Schachter uh, goes into the final and goes all the way. So uh, that's one 
to watch in the finals where United would have a home field advantage. Anyway, let me know or fill me in if you have anything to say about uh, the games that happened yesterday. I'd be happy to uh, hear some different perspectives as well, but from all I could hear, both games were rather one. One side is just that Sevilla didn't score, Schachter always was uh, able to score. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye! Thank you.